Today we're going to be uh, welcoming Paul Tibbles. Um, it's another YouTube video. We're going to run through Paul through a pressure test drill today, okay? So we're going to start with four times on the kill point. What Paul must do is execute the same kill point four times. I'll be marking that kill point with a fluorescent stake. He has to then repeat that. We're then going to check his four times with the method, which we've got a new device that none of you have seen before. We're then going to run through the fixing drill, followed by my A through F drill onto a 50 bird pressurized round where when we hit eight zeros, we will start again. So lots for you to see today. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So Paul, we're onto your first test now and it's the kill point test, okay? So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna show you a target now, yep. which is gonna be the seabird coming out from that machine out there, okay? Yep. So three, two, one. Okay? Yep. So on your first bird, you're gonna shoot a single and when you take that shot, Paul's got a post here. He's then gonna go and mark your kill point. Yep. You've then got to shoot three more yep. and the kill point must be within half a meter of the stake we put out. So it's a pressurized test of your kill point, okay? okay. When you're ready. Paul. So that's now your marker for your kill point, yep. okay? Everything you do from here on in on that target must be within, one, in, within half a meter of that stake. Well. So that was, yep, yeah, you're good, mate. You're just within half a meter. And again, hung on to it a little bit too long. Pull. That's perfect, right above the stake here. Last one. Pull. And that's directly above again, mate, superb. So the next bird, Paul, is a big, big Shondell here. So on three, two, one. Paul. Yeah, it's a good fast target. So it's up to you to set your own standards now. Paul. Did you get that, Paul? Okay, Paul, so your marker has now been set. So now it's on you, mate. Paul. Okay, so there's a zero there. Why isn't it I was, Paul? Just didn't get with the program. Okay, right. so we're going to see if we can make a change. Paul! Yeah, and that's directly above his stake here. Beautiful. Got two more, Paul. Paul! That's perfect. Look, directly over again within that half a metre tolerance. Paul! And again. Perfect. So on that zero there, we've just been speaking to Paul. He held on to it again. He just tried to make sure of it. And that's what this pressurized test is about. But we fixed it and only um, only had that one zero there. So that's a great recovery from Paul there. On to the next target. The next one here is a very, very, very slow climbing teal on your call. Paul. So we're going to change this round a little bit. Not only is Paul here going to put the stake out for the marker. Paul, if you can judge him on the power lines. So not only are we looking for the same distance right to left, also right. up and down. So we're going we're gonna to judge you here, Paul, on two Three, movements. Two, one. Paul. Okay. Yeah. So not only are we looking for your stake left and right, once you hit the first one, we're going to gauge you on those power lines in the background. So hold on. When you're ready. Paul. You got that, Paul? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, on. When you're ready. Paul. Happy Paul. Good, that's one pass. You've got three more to go. Two more to go. Paul. You can see that's beautifully above the orange stake. Same height, Paul. Perfect. Paul's under pressure here. Last one. Paul. Happy? Slightly past the post. And we only nibbled it. Dead's dead. But you can see what we're trying to prove here, Paul. Is that, is that we do make changes and that change can create a zero. Yeah. So we're perfect. Okay, Paul, so we're going to move on to the big crosser now. Paul. I'll okay. say that again, please, Ben. Paul. Big bird, that. Yeah. Okay, mate. So your first one is simply setting the pattern. Paul. You got it, Paul? Yeah. So that's your marker, mate. Okay, so we've got the marker, Paul. So we're looking for three repetitive shots. Paul. 
A little bit late, that one. I can see that on the video, yeah? Yeah. I don't want you to keep trying too hard. We've got to set it up on that kill point. Oh. Now there, we were miles too early and never got the lead. Yeah. Okay? So now we, we, that's two where we haven't matched our kill point. Let's really focus on that, where we're going to take this shot. Oh. And that's bang on above the money look. So, on to Paul's lesson again. The pressure test is done. So we're ticking off number one. You've seen what that looks like on the screen. So that's that past. We had a little bit of a struggle on one of them, but all in all, I thought Paul shot professionally there and very, very consistently. It certainly highlighted some bits for you, Paul, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's, 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 it gives you the discipline. Yeah. To, to and I think your past is probably the most disciplined I've seen you because we made your thought process go to the point, to the weakness. Yeah. So excellent. The next bit, um, the next pressure test is the method. Now, this is something no one's ever seen before. You've all been asking me what it is. You're about to be explained as to how this is going to work. Okay, so here we are with their method test. This is what this is for. It's going to be a training device for clients. So what's going to happen is with this shotgun here, when Paul wants to shoot a particular method, these horns are going to tell him if he's actually achieved the goal. So if I say to Paul, I want him to shoot pull away, he's going to see the clay come inside the horns, hold the clay before moving the gun away. If we want him to shoot swing through, he will see the, the clay come through the horns, out the other side. It's now past his barrel and he will swing through after it. If we're looking for a sustained lead, he will keep the clay this side of the horn all the time. That's meaning we're in front. So this is going to tell us exactly how his methods are working and if he's got a full understanding of them. So Paul, we're going to put this method tester to the test first. So we're going to be looking for a swing through. So you're going to have to see that clay past the left horn before you take the shot. Yep. Paul. Nice. Yeah, superb. So the big F, so we're going to look to get the clay inside those horns, Paul, before you make your move. Paul. When you're ready. Okay, so I'll we're see, looking at... see one. No, because we're in shorter clays, mate. Okay. So we're going to be looking for it to come inside the horns on a pull away before you power off. Pull. Nice. Yeah, superb, mate. So the e-bird paw, you're going to watch it come inside the horn and like you say, there's no lead. Paul. Beautiful. So this is a simple device is um, something I use on my lessons and it's very, very easy to use. How did you find using it, Paul? Did it teach you the methods? Did you yeah, find you I found it good, Ben. It was a, it was a good reference point for the bird to come into into the into the gap. Yeah. And because and, um, one thing we do know about you, you're a fantastic shot, but sometimes you do let the method slip. And it's not that you let it slip on purpose, it's that you don't recognise it where that identifies it to you yeah, and you can yeah, see it yourself. It's simple for me to see it. Beautiful. Be so thank you very much for trying it out for us. So we've now done his method test. 
So we've checked that off. Very, very happy with how he shot that. Um, it was actually superb. So now we're going to go on to his fixing drill. So for you that haven't seen the fixing drill, what's going to happen, Paul's going to be stood in a circle there. We've got six specific targets. Paul's not going to know which one's coming when he calls Paul. But once he's had it, he cannot have it again. So he's going to have to fix a method. So if he wants to shoot F with pull away, but he's holding on E and F comes and he drops in behind it, he's now got the wrong method, but he's going to have to fix it mid-shot. So this is a very big test on how he understands the methods and how he's going to fix them. So, Paul, you've seen all the birds. Yep. If I were you, I'd be covering the E for a little bit. Yep. But once you've had that specific target, you're not going to get it again, mate. So a big, big test here. Here we go. Paul. Nice. So he pulled off the E target, went into swing through on the C, slowed his hands down to the perfect shot. Well done, Paul. Superb. Next one. So C is off the cards, mate. Oh. Yeah, good. There he was. Couldn't kill it in the same place as what we were doing when we shot it as a single. So Paul did exactly the right thing there. He delayed his kill point to stay precise. So C and um, E are off the cards, mate. So you can start covering the, either the D or the F now, maybe. Oh. Yeah, superb. Again, Paul. Dropped into swing through, but delayed the kill point. That's impressive, mate. Well done. So now you've got A, F, and D to come. Paul. So what happened there, Paul? Just, uh, I've never held with it. Yeah, we just didn't long. delay it. We just didn't delay it. Excellent, that's your first miss. Keep going. So you've got F and D left. Which one's gonna, you're going to cover? F is the long crosser and D is the fast John Dell. Oh. Yeah, superb. We've shot that pull away all day. Because you brought the gun back, you got behind it, so you powered the gun up, yeah? We went with a big hand speed and recovered that shot. You've got a single F left for five out of six, mate. This is superb. This should be the perfect method now. Oh, oh Paul. You just you knew it was coming. You delayed your hand speed. We're going to do another F. You never shot in front of it, mate. That should have been the opportunity for the perfect shot. Oh. Yeah. Once we know it's coming, you just slow those hands down and never finish that shot yeah. off. So we're going to do the whole drill again, mate. Here we go. Okay. So his fixing drill is ticked off. Another excellent round by Paul. We had a couple of mistakes, but that's what we want. That's why it's a lesson. We're now going to do his A through F drill. So what Paul's going to do, he's going to stand there. He's going to call for A. Bang. B. Bang. C. Bang. But the moment Paul misses, he will be back to A. So we're going to put a lot of competitive pressure on this. So the moment he misses, he knows he's back to the beginning. The problem being, D and F are the hard birds. So we could miss the last bird by shooting well and have to go all the way back to the beginning. So every single shot here, even the substantially easier birds like C, are pressurised. So Paul, how's this, um, how's this drill making you feel? There's got to be some form of anxiety because... Oh. It's pressure. Yeah, it is, because you want to complete it. And that's what I'm trying to do, is recreate in a lesson the pressure from Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so single A. Here we go. Oh. Great start. We're off to a belter. Single B is the left to right midi. This is where we start to feel more pressure, because we don't want to have to go back and do B again. Oh. Beautiful. We're off to two from two. Single C. Oh. Superb. You notice I've pulled him back from the hoop, so we've changed the lead, so he can't shoot from memory. So there's a lot of pressure here on Paul. D is the big, fast Shondell, Paul. Oh. Yes, power shot. E, you've got to slow your hands down now for this teal. Just going to pop up in front of us. Oh. Beautiful move. And your last one. So this is the pressure shot, isn't it? Because we're five from five. If we miss this one, we're all the way back to F. So what you've got to do, Paul, is start to plan the shot. You've got to start to think about how much power shot and the leads you want to see and the method. Oh. For a big finish. Ah, Paul, delayed the shot, missed the kill point. Never took the shot because I put you under pressure yeah, yeah. and you let the pressure sink.
So that was excellent. Five from six. We only missed the hard bird, but we are going to run the routine again. Beautiful start. There's A. B, the, the edgy midi. Oh. Beautiful. There's two from two. C is your incoming standard. Oh. Superb shot. Excellent. D, the power turn on the Shondell. We're getting to one of the harder birds now. Oh. No bird. Call again. Oh. Hold on, Paul. We've just lost that machine. One okay, as usual, here at Kibworth, straight out, straight out and fixed it. So Paul's back to single D on a power turn. Oh. Superb. Now he's back to E. He's got to slow his hands back down like the first round, the pop-up teal in front. Oh. Beautiful. So... We failed on this one once, Paul, so the pressure's on. Let's try and fix what we did wrong. So we need the lead, but we need the kill point. Oh. Yes, beautiful, mate. So how's that feel? Yeah, good. And what, talk us through, because you, you, you were just honest with me off camera. Uh, I, I, I tried so hard uh, on the last bird, having not missed anything, and the bird became my focus not the kill point correct so you, and, you we lost the process yeah and as we spoke about your westfield round before the lesson we're highlighting problems on a sunday which is what a lesson should be yeah and there what did you focus on the last pet on the last bird I, I just focused on the getting the kill point right the process going to, going to the mate that's to, to finish that on a second go that's impressive mate well done okay so another another superb drill there to complete that second time round was superb so we cross it off so now's a big test for paul and we're going to shoot what it says, a 50 bird round of Fitas. There is no limitations on his gun mount, but he's allowed eight zeros. So on his ninth zero, he has to start the whole 50 bird round again. Now, the pressure that that creates... By, uh, by, be, by, by generously saying that he's uh, going to um, do this on camera, then the pressure is going to be on from that because nobody wants to miss on camera. There's also the pressure that you've got to buy another 50 shells and another 50 cartridges. So there's a lot of pressure going on here. We're going to be shooting the set menus of the Kibworth shooting ground. So we are going to build the pressure as we go round. You know, the longer Paul goes without keeping those under keep keeping under four zeros, the pressure stays off. The moment we get somewhere close to that eighth or ninth of the zero, you're going to start to talk, hear me talk about the pressure situations and sticking to the processes. So this should be a really interesting 50 birds. Okay, so just going to give you a brief description of what Paul's facing now. So he has a menu in front of him. E, C, D, A, A, C, report, A, D, sim. So on the singles, he gets two shots. On the doubles, it's like English sporting. He's got no restrictions on his mount, but we've only got eight zeros to play with, and we've got uh, six of these hoops to shoot. And um, we're going to push him through from there, see what we can okay, do. Okay, Paul, we're here on peg one. Your first bird is E. You've got full use of the gun. You don't have to shoot from your fit-ass line. Paul. Oh. Beautiful start. There's E. C is your incomer. Full use. Pull. Beautiful. D, now you've got one of your stiffer birds, your big, powerful Shondell here. Pull. Nicely done. And a technical shot now, your overhead. I am going to show you one of these because your gun hold is pivotal. Pull. Okay. Paul. Beautiful start. So there's your four singles filled in, no pressure. So you've now got C, your incomer, Paul, on report that D, your powerful Shondell. We're looking for swing through and pull away. Paul. That's a superb start. And then A and E simple. A very, very nasty pair. I had to shoot this pair on film the other day. So what we've got to do is take A relatively quickly with a collapsing lead into the E bird, which will then be falling, mate. Oh. Yes, yeah, superb, pal. Beautiful. Okay, we've arrived on peg two, mate. So you've got a single D to start, which has changed the angle completely. What method are you looking for? I think I'm going to shoot the swing through. Okay, swing through. It's going to be a powerful turn. Oh. 
Nicely done. Next bird is F, your long crosser. Before we just get in the bin, he likes to keep the place tidy. F, your big crosser, full use. Oh. What a shot, superb, Paul. A, this horrible angle coming off this shoulder. What's your method? Uh, I think I'm going to shoot this very soft swing throw. Okay. Paul. Okay, what happened there? Oh, completely imploded. I got yeah. it wrong. Good, well, that's your first zero. Right. B bird, the midi. It's exactly the same technique. If you're going to shoot a soft swing through, you've still got to get to that leading edge and not end up out in front of it. It's E bird, yeah? B. B. Yeah. The midi. Paul. Ah, uh, you did it again, mate. You ended up way out in front. That's lack of control. Great recovery on the second barrel, so it's still only at 1 0. But you now know you're faced with these two as a pair. Yeah. So now you've got to back your hand speed down and get control of that gun. Yeah. B A. Your two birds you struggled with. So this is a pressurized pair now. Paul. Great start. Yeah, great recovery. Change of technique, ended up with the precision. That's what we're pressurizing you for. Now another big pair, mate. You've got D and F sim. This is huge. You've got a huge power turn on the D with F coming through. Now hold on, Paul. I keep telling you, there's absolutely no way you're ready. How are you going to shoot D? Because if you shoot swing through like you did in the single, you've just missed the pair. Because you need to get hold of this D bird quicker. I'm going to shoot this puller wide. Yeah, and then what are we doing on F? Uh, I'm going to get down to it and just try and just swing through. Okay, when you're ready. Oh! Wow, mate, beautiful. But if I hadn't have stopped you there, I'd have missed it. you'd have shot without a plan. Yes, I would have done. Come on, let's start with grafting. Okay, mate, here we are on peg three. Unfortunately, there's a menu problem here because on one of the pegs, we need five singles. So we're going to add the F to the end of this, mate. Otherwise, we're going to be a bird short. Okay, so B is your very slow midi. What method? Uh, I'm going to shoot pull away, I think. When you're ready, mate. Pull. Good recovery. Pull away was the wrong choice. Swing through. Swing through, because there's right. no leads. you got to remember that for your doubles. Right. E, a very nasty bird now, mate. This flopping teal out in front. An edge on. Nothing nice about it. Pull. There, beautiful, pal. Moving on to C, edgy quartering cross the bird here. This is going to come in behind it. Yeah, we're going to apply a swing through shot, Paul says. Paul. Beautiful move again, excellent. And that leaves us with D. Look at this, it's going to be a powerful chandelle here. But we're going to, it's going to be quicker, but with hand speed's got to drop. Paul. Nice. Yeah, what a move, Paul. And now you're faced with F, the longer crosser which is going to be slowing down dramatically here. Pull. Nicely done, excellent. So now you're onto your pairs, Paul. So you've got E, the horrible teal, on report B, the midi that you ripped out in front of, so you've got to change your method and your hand speed. Pull. Maintain lead, fluff the shot I, I, again. I actually tried to shoot it swing through. Yeah, and we never I achieved failed. it. So we'll do that again later on after the thing. That's two zeros. C and D sim. So you've got a power turn on your Shondell. Yeah. On report, uh, sorry, simultaneous. That, that, you're doing it again, mate. You're doing it again. Unload, Paul. What are you, how are you shooting it? I'm going to shoot the uh, uh, D bird swing through. And the safe bird swing Okay, that's going to affect your lead pictures. Here we go. Oh. Yes, beautiful, mate. So, Paul, there's 23 out of 25. Very handy round. Yeah. Feeling comfortable? Yeah, uh, okay. I'm, I'm still having to think about what methods I'm going to shoot before I, uh, uh, I put the cartridges and close the gun. That's one of my biggest weaknesses. Yeah. I get so now a bit we've got, too hotted up. Yeah, we try to keep pulling you up on, but yeah. that's what we're working on. We've now got the harder round to shoot. You've got six zeros to play with because we only missed two on the first one. How are you feeling pressure-wise? 
Yeah, I, 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 I feel it's on me. So we, you're uh, on me. You're on my shoulder. So, so uh, but if you look at it, if you look at it, if you go two zeros on this peg, two zeros on that peg, and two zeros on the third peg, you've completed it. So you can actually make it sound far better than it is. We can depressurize the situation yeah. by yeah, thinking I, I, about I, it differently. I've just got to get my methods right and make keep making a plan before I close the gun. Excellent. This is a lot harder round, so let's see how we go. Single C. What's your method here, mate? Uh, I'll, I'll come in behind it. When you're ready. Through. When you're ready. Pull. Beautiful. A nasty, nasty bird now off this tower. What's your method? Uh, I'm just going to go to it. Okay, but you've got to get them hands working. Full use of the gun. Full. Good second barrel. Yeah, but you, yeah. You, you, you're you never, ever going to be able to spot shoot. No. Yeah, you never move, so you've got to fix that in your pair. Yeah. Excellent change-up, superb. E, horrible, horrible bird from here. It's a good 35 yards to the trap. It's got no spring. You've got full use. What's your method? I'm going to shoot it just a little bit of swing through. Pull. Good second barrel again. Why do you think we had second barrel in? Uh... I, I just, I think I just got it wrong. I think. Well, I no, you shot perfectly, but you shot as you got to it. We're now a long way to it. Yeah. It's going to want nibbling off the inches off yeah. the front end. Good. This is pressurizing your pairs. This is what the lesson's about. Now you've got E, uh, D, the big, big Shondell from here, mate. This will be interesting. <laughs> so, what are you going through? Pull away. Uh, I'm going to try. And how big is your gap? You've got to start thinking about the space. Pull. What a move, mate! Brilliant. Okay, now you pressurize pairs. E, the, well, the two birds that we second barreled, mate. How's that for you? <laughs> so don't rush the E bird like you did because now you've only got one shot yep. and you know you've got to just hold this A bird and nibble up the right-hand side. Yep. So big, big pair. Oh. Yeah, pair killed. And I can see the pressure in your face there. Yeah, I was, I was but, trying but, so hard. But you focus on the parts that's going to make you hit it yep. instead of the parts that's going to make you miss it. Yep. Okay, now another big pair, C and D sim. So we've got a huge power turn on D, and then we've got to back the hand speeds back off for a very minimal turn on C. What do you say? Do nothing. Do nothing, <laughs> yeah. Do nothing and wait, mate. Perfect. Pull. And the perfect pair. So now, look, the way I would be walking off if I was you, I've still got six to play with. I've just straighted that peg. So now I can miss three on the next and three on the next. I know that's not the objective, but what I'm doing is depressurizing the situation. For, for a shooter in my class, I'd never think of those yeah. things to take the pressure And that, now you've got, you've got three misses okay, to go. Okay, so here, there is actually five singles if you look. Yep. There's a C written to the side. Yeah, okay. I've got that, yep. <laughs> so your first bird is A off the scaffolding. We've still got six zeros to play with. We do, we're on fire. Method? Uh, slight swing through. When you're ready... Pull. Ah, oh, Paul, you're miles behind it. Look at it now. It's a full-on crosser. Yeah? So your swing through is not going to work, is it? We've got to extend that gap. You've got to remember that for your pairs. Yeah. Okay, five zeros to go. Pressure's... No, no, no. See, because you've missed, you've just now loaded two shells in, and we're just going to shoot again. No description of method. No description of lead. We miss one, so we just think, yeah. let's shoot. Uh, swing through again. Uh, really, really. You're gonna, it's a big bird pull. The lead's going to be out there. Don't don't let the pressure of that zero cause another one. Yeah. When you're ready. Pull. Yes, pull away. Excellent. In the middle. Okay, what? Well, oh, big bird now, mate. Big bird. We know it's 56 yards to the hedge. Yeah. We know that you've got a tendency to hang on, so you've got to start focusing on the stuff here that's going to help. Pull. Wow, beautiful, mate. See, for me, and in my head, what I start to think is, right, okay, that's replaced the A. If I'd have missed that, I'd have felt okay. Yeah. So I just imagine that I've ki killed the A and missed the F, and I'm still back to where I want to be. Yeah. So I play the mind games of taking the pressure yeah. back I've off. Never thought of this. Yeah. So we're just one zero down. Yeah. E, horrible bird again. Swing two. Pull. Yes, beautiful shot. And the last bird is C, the one coming in from the right hand side. Yeah, I'm going to come in behind it. Yeah, beautiful. 
Paul. No, but there it is. Beautiful. Okay, so now you're onto your pair. So you know the only fix at the minute is the A. So we've got C, which you say you're going to come in from behind, yeah. and then A, which you know you've already missed behind. Yeah. So it's a fix we've got to find here. Yeah. Paul. Yes, great changes, Paul. Superb. And now a huge pair. Huge, huge pair. E and F sim. So you've got E, yeah. the flopper out in front. Then you know F's going to have already have gone past. Paul. Paul, absolutely superb, mate. Brilliant. Look at the smile on his face. Okay, so, Paul, a little interview before we start here. How are you feeling? We've got one peg to go. Uh, well, I feel pretty confident. I, 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 the confidence dipped with a few misses. And then when I started to get with the programme, obviously See, I, if I, I was very few kills on the last peg. But if I was you, I'd be thinking, I've got five zeros to play with, and there's only eight birds to come. Right. So to complete this test in your first go, you've only got it three. It's like putting a tightrope five foot above the area, <laughs> the 50 foot and yeah, it's the same distance yeah. with a tightrope, but yeah. you can, the nut can start going. And that's all you've got. You've got it, three of these to complete this test, or we start, or we start hunting the 47 that you're on with. Yeah? This is, not, this is not a numbers drill. This is a test of zeros. So if you perform here, you've only got to hit three to complete it, and we've also got the opportunity of a big 47 out of 50, mate. Yeah. By focusing your mind on positives and applying all of the previous drills, which we'll talk about afterwards, into this round, okay? Yep. So your first bird, Paul, is that midi. When this is what I want you to understand is we missed it from this position yep. by being in front of it, but now if we come back here and apply that lead, we're gonna be behind it. Yep. It's a total refocus. What yep. method are you looking for? Swing throw. Okay, when you're ready. Paul. Oh. Yes, great start. D. D. Oh, big Shondell. It'll be inside this tree line here, mate. This is going to take... What method are you going with? Swing through. Paul. Beautiful, Paul. F. That's going to be a big old crosser, but it's going to be at the end of its flight, isn't it? So yeah. it's going to be slow. You've got two shots. Paul. Watch the connection and the move. Yes, beautiful, Paul. And E. Now, this is a nasty bird. Look, I'm going to zoom in. I'm still zooming. I'm still... That's how far away this is. A trainer spring. So, it's all about precision. Paul. What a shot. So, Paul. We've got four. We've got two doubles to go, mate. And you've already passed. I, 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 I'm trying not to think about that. Well, that's what you should be thinking about. Yeah. You've got to set your mindset to an achievement. You've just achieved. Why would we lock out that out? Why would we try and block out? We've passed. Yeah. So now we can relax and enjoy four birds yeah. and make sure we apply methods yeah, and so kill points. When I, when I took my driving test, the instructor said you passed. And I thought, well, I've still got to get home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, D on report E. A big pair because you've got that horrible Shondell, which is going to take a lot of fast hands, then the teal, which takes slow hands. Paul. Yes, Paul. Superb. <laughs> my man. Now a big pair, look, B and F sim. So you can do it either way round. You've got two, a midi coming out from over here, and then an F sim pair from over here. I think I'm gonna take the high bird first. Which one's the high bird? The B. Okay, big double. Control your hand speed as you come round the corner. Pull. Yeah. So pull. First off, thanks for letting us film that to educate others on your own personal lesson. But, I mean, 47 out of 50, you'd have jumped at that at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. You know, that was a big, big number. Yeah. How, how do you find each drill lead into each other? Uh, no, I thought it was superb. I, I thought it gave for, for someone like me, it, it, it made sense. It, it, it just fitted in beautifully. And, you know... Uh, You'd have took 47, you'd have come off there and you said, oh, like, yeah. you, you, you're flying, so... I, I just hope I'll make a, a, as good a job as dinner to dinner tonight. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll move on to the next part of the lesson, Paul. Yeah, cheers, Ben. So, guys and girls, hope you enjoyed that. Please press the subscribe button below. 
There's many more videos coming. I can't thank Paul enough. That was his personal lesson that he let us film for you to educate you guys as well. Lots of useful information there. Some unique training drills. You know, having a lesson is not just about walking around a course, shooting singles and report pairs. You've got to be put to the test. If you want your instructor to actually start to highlight problems that happen to you on a Sunday. That's what I pride myself in. So that's what we do differently to everybody else. Please enjoy the videos. We'll keep them coming. In. Any comments that you want to see, place them below. And good luck this weekend.